we are going to talk about bra size. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Bra Talk with Honey Love. The series where we give you insider knowledge on all things bras. I'm your host, Sophie. And I'm Talent Honey Love's social media manager. And today, we are going to talk about bra bra types. types. So, Talent, what kind of bra are you wearing today? Today, I'm actually wearing a minimizer, which is going to help your chest look a little bit smaller while keeping the shape. I am wearing a wireless bra courtesy of Honey Love, but there are honestly so many different bra types out there. Follow me to the design room where we are going to meet with one of our design experts. We're here in the design room and I'm here with Vlada. Hi, I am the designer at Honey Love and I'm one of our in-house bra experts. So I've taken a bunch of different bras and put them in a basket and we are gonna pick them out one by one and test your bra knowledge. And then as you pick each bra, you will tell us A, what it's called, B, why someone would want it and C, who it's good for. All right, I'm excited, let's do it. Here is our basket of bras, which I have lovingly prepared for you today. Please close your eyes and make your first pick. Okay, excited, let's see. Ooh, our first contender. This is a push-up bra. What this bra does is really pushes your cleavage up and in. I would say it's especially great if you have a smaller chest, but a lot of people with fuller chests love them as well. Um, the more the merrier, you know? And I think that you would actually go up like two cup sizes if you put this on. Yeah. <laughs> push-up bra. All right, let's do this. Ooh, all right, we have our plunge. So as you can see, it has a really deep plunging, what we call a gore right here in the center. So this one is really gonna get you a lot of versatile wear with your necklines. Uh, if you have a wedding, if you have holidays coming up, anything like that, it's amazing. Plunge. See ya. Ooh, all right. The strapless. Ooh, I know this one. You can wear strapless, you can wear it with camis. If you have asymmetrical tops, those are very in right now. It's really important to get the fit right because your band is doing all the support. I would say the main thing to look for is if it has a good fitting underwire. So this one, it's a steel underwire. You can feel it's really strong. It's really gonna lift and separate. A lot of companies will put this silicone gripper inside and that's super important. And so it's not gonna slide down, you can dance, you can move around, and it'll stay put. Okay, great, strapless. Ooh, all right, bralette. I love bralettes. These are just really comfy. You can sleep in these, you can run errands if you'd like to, but I would say this is on the lower to medium support. If you have a larger chest or a fuller chest, this is probably not going to be your go-to unless you're just lounging around. Hmm, yeah. I don't think that I could get away with a bralette, but I love it for people that can. <laughs> for all the small booby girlies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to you. Yes, we love you. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, our wire-free bra. So this is our crossover bra. We all know it, we all love it. This is all about comfort. This is perfect because you're still getting a lot of great support through a built-up band. But as you can see, there's no wire in here. It's completely wire-free. You just have a little bit of boning on the side for the support. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna wear this all day, it's perfect, it's versatile. You even have the little straps that can cross over in the back, so it's convertible. And you can just pair it pretty much with anything. Love it. Ah, a front close. These ones are really great, especially if you struggle with getting your bras on, if you have limited mobility, if you have either sloped shoulders or you're very petite. This is amazing because it's gonna stay anchored on your body since the straps are closer together. Mm -hmm, cute. Front closure. Ooh. Minimizer. Okay. This one is very highly supportive. Just as it sounds, it's really going to minimize the appearance of your breast by really kind of pushing everything towards your body and spreading around the tissue. Great. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Minimizer. Ooh, 
Okay, this one is the unlined. Ooh, sexy. Yeah, super <laughs> sexy. So the unlined bra is one that does not have a foam pad. The cup is just a thin fabric. So this is really breathable. Great for just feeling super comfy. It feels like you're wearing nothing. I feel like this is a good bralette alternative for someone who's a little on the bustier side. Exactly, yep. Ooh. This is a perfect marriage between a bralette and then going up to a classic t-shirt bra. Gorgeous. Ooh, all right. She's the bright. Spore bra. She is very bright. You have a great wide strong band on this. So you're really getting a lot of support. You're getting all of your breast tissue kind of strapped in. So if you're doing yoga, if you're running, if you're walking, it's really going to keep you in place. I feel like I live my life in a sports bra when I'm not at the office, just cause it's, I'm always sweating. <laughs> You know what? Great point. A lot of these come with moisture wicking fabric, so it's a perfect for that. Yay, we love sports bras. Yeah, we do. Ooh, she is pretty. Ooh. So this is the long line bra. So these are very pretty, but they're also very supportive. And honestly, these are great if you're a little daring and you want to wear it like with a blazer and some jeans. So it's amazing under blouses, under t-shirts, just not anything that's usually bodycon because it has a little more build like boning, for example. I've never worn one of these, but it's really, really cute. And now I'm thinking maybe I will be a little daring it. and like wear this as a shirt. <laughs> yeah, it looks really cute. If you style it, it's perfect. Okay, well, you're gonna have to style me. <laughs> Ooh, this oh, is that one's so cute. pretty. I love this color. This is the balconette. The cup goes straighter across than it normally would on a different type of bra. And then the straps are set wider apart. So think those cute square necklines or sweetheart necklines, the straps are gonna stay hidden. And then it's also gonna give you this amazing natural lift. So boobs up, not together. Yep. Cute. Ooh, this feels so comfy already. This is a t-shirt bra. This is your classic everyday bra. This is going to really lay flush against your body. It's going to enhance your natural shape. It's gonna give you a great lift. A lot of times these have convertible straps. So let's say you have a little racer back tank, mm. you convert the straps and it's perfect for that too. So just wear it with everything. Yeah, I feel like this is an essential. Yeah, totally. My favorite. Pick your next victim. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is the full coverage bra. So this is amazing if you really want high support. I definitely recommend someone with larger breasts, especially if you tend to get some spillage and you really just wanna stay strapped in and you wanna feel like you can move around freely without kind of like popping out at any moment. I think it's perfect for that. Nice, comfy, supportive, essential. Yep. All right, we have made it to the end. You're doing See, great. I'm peeking a little bit. I'm excited, you guys. Ooh, so this is a demi. The straps sit a little bit lower for versatility, and then the overall coverage is gonna be one of the lower ones. So this is really great for people that love a little low tank top, something where the underarm is cut a little bit lower. It's just going to kind of enhance what you already have, and it's going to lift you a little bit, and that front gore is gonna sit just a little bit lower, so you're getting like a little sexy peekaboo. Just be very like flirty and sexy. And that's it. We just went through every single bra A to Z. So many bras. Which bra was your favorite? So I love the t-shirt bra and I think I love the bralette. I am a comfort girly. Yeah, I am a little on the bustier side, so I love our wireless bra, the Honey Love crossover. It's a good one. Um, which is great, because it's got that bralette support, but I'm also not mm -hmm. like floating about. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I also kind of love an unlined bra moment. What bra is your favorite? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let us know below. Also, which one would you like to see a Honey Love version of? Ooh. And if you want a full list of all these bras, what they do, who they're good for, you can head to our website. There's a link in the description box that will take you there. Thanks so much for watching Bra Talk with Honey Love. If you need more information, go ahead and click the link below. Got questions, comments, feedback? Leave it in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, just, just say no to bad bras. bras.